Right, I promised you how easy. This is the easiest inverter in the world to install. And I'm just, we just, all we've done at the moment, the thing is just mounted in. Um, I've done that on a, we've done it on a board here just to demonstrate. So if you have a look here, you don't have to open them up. You just connect the cables here. And so on the grid, you've got the, the live, the neutral, and the earth. And it just connects on here. This is the input, and the smaller one is for the load. So the input is both input and output. And we can just clip the cable in here. We can clip it in here. This is the wiring. And then here, we've got the other cable here. Exactly the same. You can see the three connections. It's really, really simple. Um, we just wired them. It just took a second. And close it, lock it up. It needs the compression gland nice and tight. And so obviously, okay. compression gland, it locks in nice and tight. And you see underneath, and you hold the camera here. You'll see there's two connections. There's a larger one and a smaller one. And um, you can, uh, I, can, I can connect here, clicks it in. And then here, which is my essential, uh, my essential load here. And I just line it up. I can't, um, it, it, and I can take it up. Right, it's in. So that's both of them in. Um, that's the AC, that's, that's how easy it is. Click, click, in. Um, so what else we need? So we'll connect here. This is my CT coil. So my CT coil here, it connects on here, and we, we simply put that, it goes in, it's my limiter, and it connects on here, and that's wired. Okay. Uh, here, I've got them loose here, this is my PV string. So here is my PV string, um, the positive and the negative, and you can see here, you see the positive here, and the negative here. Connects on the PV string, that's the PV string. Um, also, um, I'm going to connect um, an external battery. So to show you about connecting an external battery, it's really simple. So here is one that we prepared earlier. Um, so the unit, the LifeLink actually has an internal battery. And of course, we can use an external battery with it. Um, it has comms, so um, we can connect here. This is for the, the, the BMS, and we can connect it here. The camera's poor here. Okay. We connect the battery. Um, of course, an external battery we've got in and out because obviously if we're parallel in units and connecting a battery is simple. Connect here, it's click click, and here is the positive side. I'll put, put, turn it around a little bit. And then there's, there's my negative. And I'll connect the negative here. Okay. So, we're connected. Ready to rock and roll. Ah, I forgot, I forgot. Data logger. So we, we have to have a, we have a data logger. My microphone's moving off me. Um, and, yeah, and the data logger, the data logger goes in here. And I put the data logger in. And there's a couple of screws. I won't put the screws in the moment. There's a couple of screws there. So that's installed. Um, of course, this is actually showing where the AC coming in and we run a CT coil um, and some of the new ones, the new ones that will be coming available later on um, will have um, wireless CT option. So there you go, that's a CT coil. So we're wired. We're ready to rock and roll. How simple to use. Well, I always suggest, first of all, you know, if we're using the go onto battery initially, so you always switch on, always run the battery before we run the AC, make sure. The unit does have an internal battery, and we can also use an external battery. Click the breaker here, so it has an internal and both external battery. So I've got two batteries in parallel. So I can boot it up, run the battery, press the on button, and let it boot itself up. Um, and you'll see the screen will come on. There you go. And it comes onto the welcoming screen. Um, you can set from here, and I'll go through the settings, a different thing, but generally, it, it, from default, it will just work. There's nothing to do. So you can take out the box. Generally, if it's in the particular country, it will already have the country default settings. Um, so there's normally set. If you need to change it or you want to change language, you can do. So we're now running off a battery. Um, normally, at this point, um, I would suggest you're going to introduce the, the solar array. So we can introduce the solar array here. It's a solar, solar powered on. So we've got the PV array powered on. Uh, all good. Um, it's not doing very much at the moment. Um, so other than um, very little, very little you can do. 
And in fact, what we can see here, um, if you look on here, you'll see the, also the internal battery pack. So if I press it here, internal battery pack, external battery pack. So you see the external battery pack. And in fact, it's reading the BMS, 100 amp per hour, 53 volts. For, so it's fully reading. It can read both its external batteries and the internal batteries. And of course, if I want to parallel more batteries externally, I can do. So it can, it can see both. It's, it's very, really, really simple. So we're rock and roll in bass return. The unit is running. And in fact, I just heard a click. And there we got, we got the normal light. So it is now running. The inverter is actually functioning. Um, so we haven't turned on the grid yet. We haven't done it. We haven't turned the grid on. We haven't done anything. But what the inverter is doing is working, working as an off-grid system. So if we put on here, this is a load. This is on the UPS. So or UPS or the load side. And we can see we've got a load. So the inverter is actually running. It's taking the power of the batteries. It's outputting AC. And this is now running as an off-grid solution. It's a fully off-grid solution running that way. But of course, it's a hybrid. It does much more. It is, as I say, it's probably the simplest hybrid in the world because you don't have to open it. You don't have to do anything. It's just click, 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 done. So the only thing left we've got to talk about now, there's a couple of things, is we're going to introduce the AC. Always put the AC last so you know everything is working because people, some people just go switch everything all on at once and if there's a problem, there's a problem. But this, the, the, the beauty of this is it's simple. There's so little to do. It's out of the box and you're wiring it. So here we've got the, this is, this is actually showing as if it's my, 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 my meter coming here. So I've used this as a meter. I've got my CT coil and this is my, my brake coming in. So if I turn on my main breaker and I put on power here. Okay, now I've now got AC coming in. Uh, and there's, there's AC, there we go. We've got an AC light. So we've got battery light, AC light, normal light. Um, the only thing I'm not showing is solar because I, we're on the seventh floor in a multi-story building in Hong Kong. And unfortunately, the building has got about 30 floors. And um, despite even trying, we'd have to dangle the wires out the window and bring it in. And um, I think somebody would get a little bit upset, especially on the other floors. So we can't do that. So it's, it's working. Um, one other thing now, it is, it's, it's running. We have an AC running. Um, so basically, you will see here the, the status, what's going, where it's discharging, and you just heard it click again. And so you can see here we've got 219 volts from the AC coming in. Okay, and the inverter is running 288 watts. It will, it's showing here whether it's in charging or discharging mode. It's in it will flick to charging mode shortly. So we're actually, we're actually running. If we lose the AC now, it will continue on the load. So the load side, and I'll switch some of these off because they're a bit glary. So this is just showing as a, this is the load. It's on the load side. This is the essentials. This is the non-essentials. So you can connect power both to the essentials and the non-essentials. So if I click on here, so this is this is on the load here, and you can see this is on the non-essential. You can see the the inverter, the, the wattage of the inverter increasing, and it's showing here it's 296 watts. So if I increase some more power here, uh, so put some more load on here. Um, and you see the wattage is increasing to 400 watts. This is on the non-essential load. So it's AC coupled. So the only connection you have is from the inverter to the fuse, and it works both ways. The CT coil prevents it from exporting, and it works fast. You know, some people say, oh, well, if you, if you have a suddenly change in your thing, it could export a little bit. It, it doesn't. It won't export anything. You know, if you, if, you have, if you had a slight export in a lot of countries, if you have a prepaid meter, it will trip the prepaid meter. So this will not export absolutely anything. Unless you want it to export, you can set it for exporting. But at the moment, it's not set for export. So I was talking about recently on a previous video, and I was talking about AC couple. So we're just demonstrating, maybe it's an easier way of demonstrating. So on here, this is my fuse board. It's a proper fuse board. This would be my, my consumer unit. Uh, on my so my mains coming in my meter meter the consumer unit one wire going to the, to the inverter and the other wire going to the other socket in the house the other socket to the house is showing those lights but one of the things I can introduce in here this is a micro inverter and I mentioned before and let me switch it on this is a power supply so I, I haven't got I'm having to use power supply to work the micro inverter and so the micro inverter there's lots of little clicks and things going on so the micro inverter now is outputting and we'll see the the power of the micro inverter it's not running yet so it's just booting up. Once these, 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 this current comes up, it means the microinverter is starting to run and it will start, and you can see there, there you go, it's running. So now the microinverter is running and it's running a fair bit of power. Um, Joe is, you see, Joe is standing behind me. <laughs> so, so, so we're running a fair bit of power, Joe, you set it up. So now the microinverter, 
Um, we've we, we, we've got eight amps at uh, at um, eighty volts. So what's that in watts? Six total six hundred fifty watts. Six hundred fifty watts. So we've got six hundred and fifty watts coming from the microinverter. Um, and in fact, what's actually happening is here. Look at the thing. It's got a minus. It's a minus. It's charging. It's charging. So I've got an AC coupled load here. There's nothing coming from the grid. So what this 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 microinverter is supplying the power to the local load directly. So the microinverter is supplying my local load directly from it, and the difference in the energy is going into the battery of our Lifelink. There's no setup to it. It just works. It works so simple. It's beautiful. Um, if I if I start reducing the load here, if if I, if I if I tell you what, I'll switch it off completely. Turn all my lights off in the house, and suddenly what you'll suddenly see is the power of the the unit will will jump up, and, and you see here, it's come up. So the power now from the micro is starting to charge. You see, so it's boosting the charge. So it's all going into the battery. You see the power going into the battery. So everything is powering into the battery. Um, the energy from the micro is going into the battery directly. And that's, the micro has nothing to do with it, with the life thing. It's a completely separate and independent product. It could be anything. It could be a string inverter. It could be a micro inverter. It'd be whatever you like. It's so absolutely very, 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 very simple. It is. It is that simple. Um, so as you can see here, we're using AC coupled. And if I got if I introduce a load, um, if one thing though you've got to, if you realise, if I switch on because this is my AC coupled. Um, and I switch on here. So let me put some load on here. Um, so I've got load on here. And so I've got an AC couple load. So what happens if I lose the mains? If I have a power cut? So let's switch off the main switch. This is the main incoming cut. Wow. You see what happens? I'll lose all my AC couple power because it has to, because the inverter has to island. So now the inverter is islanding, but my essential load carries on because the essential load, and this is all my essential loads here, is running directly from the inverter. So there's my essential loads. So it's running happily from the inverter, but my other load, which is my AC couple load, has gone. It has to do that for safety, otherwise you're going to end up killing somebody down the road or something like that. So the CT coil, this thing, Obviously, is, 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 it, now it, it's not redundant because there's no power. But if I turn back onto my main switch, what will happen here is my load comes on instantly, of course, because it's directly connected to it. But there will be a delay for the inverter because what actually happens now is the inverter is running at, we're running at 50 hertz. So the inverter is running at 50 hertz. The AC is 50 hertz. And what actually happens is, is the two have to lock together. So the inverter has to adjust its frequency slightly so it just to the AC. And only when the two lock together, then it can switch over to the inverter. Because if it does it without locking, then you'll get a huge glitch or you could possibly have, it becomes dangerous. And, you know, some of the very cheap inverters that don't have this synchronous, there you go, click, it's gone. And you see, you had the click and it says, it's pretty quick. In fact, that's synchronized within, what, 15, 20 seconds? It's really quick. Um, so now we're back on we're back on essential loads and non-essential loads, and my AC coupled inverters ramped up. It's all working. Everything's working. It's all functioning. It's all absolutely functioning. It's that simple. You know, I said to you, you can install one of these in an, in an hour. I, I literally I connected the connections. I put it. I totally wired it up from scratch. I think it was in the first minute of the video. One minute to wire it up. One minute. That's it. I don't have to screw on, screw this, wire this, connect this, connect it. It's just a connection. Plug, plug, plug. You know, if you if you if you're on a job and you could probably get the, the, the you know the apprentice or something can make up the leads. You get there. You've only got to make the connection to the to the to the, to the consumer unit, and it's done. It's so simple. It's so fast. And that's the beauty of it. It's an all-in-one unit. It's all in one. Everything is combined. It's different. You know. And I tell you, these things, these things. I always say, it's the price of our phone. It's a full hybrid solution with batteries, everything, the price of a mobile phone, and it functions amazingly well. It's absolutely amazing. You know, I, I say you'd be amazed with Lifelink, and it is, it is an amazing product because it functions so well. You know, and, and actually, you can hear the fans. These are the fans of the power supply here, powering the microinverter. The microinverter is, is really cool. 
but the microinverter, is, this is powering the microinverter, it's coming here, it's AC coupling, is there, the, the fans aren't even running on this, it's, it's, it's doing so little work, there's nothing silent, the only thing I can hear is, is the AC couple fans. So there you go, it's so simple. Of course, if I want to switch it off, um, you know, the, 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 the downside is, if, I, if I'm deconditioning, I would obviously remove my, remove my solar, because it's safe, because these things, the strings uh, are high voltage, remove my solar. I would then obviously then disconnect the AC side. AC disconnected, it's now isolated. And you see that we've lost the, we've lost it because everything is running through there. I've actually turned the whole AC off uh, rather than that. So I turn off the rest of the AC, which is the inverter AC. And then finally, I would, disc I would then switch the power off and disconnect my battery, isolating the battery. It's now, it'll just take a short while, and it, the, the capacitors, they go, it's, it's gone to red, it's down powered. It's now down powered, it's completely down powered. It's that simple. It's really, really simple. Up powering when you first commission it, battery first, battery, solar, mains, simple as. This thing can install the whole system. If you want the easiest, easiest, easiest hybrid inverter in the world to install with batteries, it's just a lifelink, it's so simple. Anyway. Thanks for following. I promise some training. I hope it's useful. We will do another video focusing on the menus of the unit, what it can do. But you, because obviously you've got your time of use and you've got lots of other functions on it. And, and it, the whole thing works anyway on the Sunsync app, Connect app. So if you're familiar with the Sunsync Connect app, you can program it from that or you can program it from the menu. So I'll do, I'll do, a, separate me, I'll do a separate video on the menus, on programming, on, on using it. But unless you're going to be using, using time, for time of use, which you can do if you need to use time of use, um, and some of the other settings you made for grid code compliance is what changes, then you obviously know the settings. Also, it, the thing runs in, it runs in many, many different languages. I think we're about 10 languages at the moment. So this is it. Thanks for following it. Keep following us on YouTube. Cheers.